Friday. Hello, hi there, that's the general response. Hello, hi there, I'm Eric Pohl. Uh, I'm Australian. Uh, not that I live here as a, I actually live here as a Hungarian. I'm half Hungarian. I've got a Hungarian passport. Any, uh, any Hungarians? No, they're a nation void of joy. <laughs> don't get out much. Uh, yeah, I, I never learned it growing up. I, I just learned the swear words, and the Hungarian's got great swear words. It's one of the few uh, languages that still has curses. Like, not like curse words, I mean like medieval type curses, like, like may this happen to you, may you know, like may your grandmother fall heavily in the shower, that type of deal. Straight into the grandmother, right over the older generation, I don't know what to talk about. Uh, it's my favourite one, uh, is Azishtem Bossomega Kulva Kunyala Zidesht. That literally means in English, if you don't shut up, I'm going to have to jump inside your mouth and shit myself. <laughs> I love that. I love that. It's, a, it's, a, it's an empty threat at the end of the day. It's a physical impossibility. It's the intention I like behind it. Uh, here's another, here's uh, the other one I, I found out. Um, schlop your knock on. It's good, isn't it? Uh, do you want to give that a go on three? Ready? Schlop your knock on. One, two, three. That means may you be slapped about the face and neck with a horse's penis. <laughs> It's quite a concise little phrase to say for quite a long ex How often are they saying that? Shlop your knocker, shlop your knocker. <laughs> it's like the equivalent of saying sorry when you bump into someone in the street, I don't know. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's all you need to know about hunger, you never go there, it's fine. Um, I try not to uh, judge people, you know, in life in general, um, but I do all the time for lots of different reasons. Uh, for example, anyone who describes themselves as being quirky, go fuck yourself. Just because just you're into Wes Anderson films and, and you play the ukulele, oh, that's not a normal instrument. It doesn't make you quirky though. It does. Quirky is if you're like a 35-year-old virgin living in a bed sit in Shropshire and he never goes out of the bed sit because he's way too into Warhammer. That's quirky. And, but you know what, you never meet that guy, and he suddenly doesn't call himself quirky to him. Do you know why? Because he's fucking quirky! <laughs> quirky people don't call themselves quirky, they just get on with their lives and move forward. The people who call themselves quirky also tend to be the sort of people that use this little phrase um, as a form of like consolation. They'll say, do you know what? If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Oh. No shit! <laughs> you started that sentence by saying, if it's meant to be. If you have to stop repeating yourself. It makes no sense. It's a non-sentence. It's, like, it's, like, it's like someone coming up to you and being like, do you know what? If it's orange, it's orange. <laughs> right. Thank you, oh wise one. But it's how fucking smug they are when they say it as well. Like they're doling out some life-changing truth bomb. Just go and enjoy the rest of your life. Take in the knowledge that everything that's meant to be is meant to be. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's very clear now. Of course, if a thing is a thing, it's a thing. Who fucking knew? <laughs> Piece of shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've, um... To listen to, I don't do segues. Uh, 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 Jay Z, been listening to Jay Z recently, and um, he's, he's, he's a real wordsmith. You know, there's always like an underlying meaning to everything he says. Uh, so, for instance, in the song 99 Problems, um, uh, during the second verse, uh, Jay Z states, and I quote, uh, I'm like, fuck critics, they can kiss my whole asshole. Which doesn't sound like much to begin with, but if you dig a little deeper, just, like how big is Jay Z's asshole that he feels the need to specify whether someone should kiss like all of his asshole or a portion? Does the ratio differ depending on who he's asking to kiss his asshole? Like, I'm just maybe we've stumbled across one of Jay Z's 99 problems. Maybe one of them. <laughs> Maybe one of them's a prolapse anus. I'm just asking questions, people! <laughs> questions that must be answered! <laughs> yes. Um, cool guy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet, so I'll just, I'll leave you with this. Um, this is an impression I've been trying on recently, and, um, just thought I'd try this out with you tonight. Uh, this is an impression, uh, of Arnold Schwarzenegger trying not to come too quickly. Just get on board, alright? It'll be a lot easier for everyone. <laughs> just give me a moment, I need to get into the spirit of things. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> Oh. Oh, 
alright, I've got to start again, haven't we? <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Go slower. <laughs> I'm going to come. <laughs> I'm coming. Pull the finger out. 